Здраво, здраво, како се гоеш така и овој пат каде ако не во музичката емисија Heart and Heavy, овој пат имаме нов соговорник и се наоѓаме на опите на Metal Days во бекстейджот и тоа благодарение на Hard Rock клубот од Битола на Широк Сока кој е наш спонзор кој не би бил ова свето што го гледате да не е тој. Значи покрај мене се наоѓа нашиот соговорник од некогашните XU простори. Станува сборд за момчиња кои не гуваат дед метал мелодичен нешто со треш елементи измеѓу Каркас и Тестамен. Станува сборд за бенд кои ни доаѓа од Истра, од Пула. Тука е бендот Internal Infernal Tenebral Infernal Tenebral First to welcome to TV show uh, Macedonian Heart and Heavy Thank you very much man Nice to meet you here yeah. And me too Tell me uh, You are from Croatia Yeah But you are not first time here for Metal Days I Yeah so. actually Actually we played here in 2011 And we played the second stage So we were co-headliners there yeah. And uh, this year we got an opportunity To open on the main stage And it means a lot of, uh, to us You know And uh, it's a great opportunity for us to, to to get noticed You know And everything So it's a pretty exciting It was a pretty exciting experience Yeah It's to be too nice to be the second time in the uh, Tomin, but now for the metal days because before the be the metal camp. Tell me how many years exist and uh, how the, the started for the band. Well, we started back in 1999, and uh, we were a demo band for a lot of times because uh, you guys know what happened in our region, so. Pretty much, we didn't have opportunity to go out, but uh, as soon as uh, we got a chance, you know, we tried to make a professional album. So we got signed to Massacre Records and released uh, New Form Revelations in 2012. And then we started our promotion. Uh, we've been to several festivals like Bloodstock Open Air in UK. We've been to uh, Trondheim Metal Fest in uh, Norway. And uh, we did a uh, Japanese tour with Rotten Christ and the Havoc and Raid in 2014. Then a few more festivals like Brutal Assault and everything. And we started working on our uh, new album, uh, which is called uh, As Nations Fall. And it came out uh, in January this year, also on Massacre Records. It was uh, mixed and mastered by Jens Bogren at Fascination Street Studios in Sweden. And the artwork was done by Gustavo Saze, who is a renowned uh, artist. And uh, we did our promotion for this album uh, with a European tour uh, in this year in March with suffocation, uh, cattle decapitation and abiotic throughout Europe. So we visited uh, countries like uh, Sweden, Denmark, uh, Holland, uh, Germany, Switzerland, and stuff like that for the first time, so it was a great exposure. And then we did a couple more summer festivals, like Metalhead Romania, Gotham Metal Fest in uh, Slovakia, and now we're here at uh, Metal Days, and then we have a few more shows coming up, like tomorrow we gotta go to Rome, because uh, we're doing a show with Testament. Yeah. It's a nice, you have good reputation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, you have level uh, uh, massacre, is yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Who mean here your uh, corporation with the uh, massacre? Well, uh, we started back in uh, 2012. Yeah. So it's a few years now, and we have two albums out on massacre. And uh, I think uh, somehow all our hard work in the recent years is uh, is uh, finally showing up. You know, uh, because we pretty much really improved uh, on live performances we got a lot of experience now so it's starting to show you know and I think the audience is uh, finally you know uh, uh, discovering us pretty much recently so, so it's it's good times for us but we keep our hard work uh, because we want to get better exposure for the fans to hear that kind of music I think our combination of music is uh, is not uh, that much uh, exposed. I think there's a few bands missing, you know, from the old area. So we're trying to kind of fill this gap and uh, 
find our space on the whole scene, you know. And uh, whoever is a big fan of bands like Death, Carcass, and uh, bands like that, you know, like Testament and everything, they're gonna find something familiar with their music, but also I think there's a lot of elements that uh, are kind of unique and uh, we're doing it really honestly, so I think there's something for everybody, you know. Tell me, you have the new material now, and when to be the last album? Uh, maybe you uh, now the working for the new materials? Yeah, actually, we're uh, when we finish uh, this couple of uh, the dates. Uh, now we're gonna go more into writing mode, and uh, I think for the rest of the year we're gonna write new albums, and uh, probably in the beginning of 2017 we're gonna do a few more shows or maybe a tour maybe we're we're thinking about getting back to Japan again and stuff like that so we'll see what happens you know but we're pretty much we wanted somehow to make a break from writing to kinda let new ideas uh, get into our heads you know and I think we're pretty much ready to now let it out you know so I think this new material is gonna be pretty sick yeah who who, who writes the lyrics and where I take the inspiration? Yeah, well, I write the lyrics and uh, I think the lyrics are pretty much very personal, but I kind of write about uh, the social status of people, uh, the human rights, uh, you know, what what's going on in our society and stuff like that, you know. But I try to, to not uh, make it uh, sound uh, banal or, I don't know, like uh, primitive or something but I try to like uh, see the whole spectrum you know like to to make uh, the whole to, to see the whole picture you know why some things are happening and everything you know and but basically from my experience it, it all comes down to every one of us you know because everything depends on ourselves you know we're, we're the ones who may things happen or not we're the one who can push the limits or not yeah. And for the end, what do you like to say for Macedonian metal fans and people who are watching this interview in uh, YouTube? Well, I hope uh, someday we get an opportunity to come to Macedonia. It would be a great pleasure because, you know, once we were all in one state, you know, we were all brothers. I think we're still brothers, so it would be a great pleasure for us to come over there and play some good metal for you, you know. So I think we gotta support our region, you know, we gotta, it, it all starts from ourselves. So if we do our stuff together, you know, we can grow together. So that's it. And I'm pretty much happy that you did an interview with me. So I want to thank you very much for this opportunity. And I want to say a huge metal thank you to all the guys who are listening to that and watching this shit and uh, metal. Never forget, support the metal.